Hello guys, we're going to be doing an unboxing for the Afterglow AP1. It's for the PS3, and it looks pretty cool. There, there you go. It like glows and stuff, and it's, that's my friend uses it. That's what it's supposed to look like when it's all glowed up. And fun. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt with the camera to actually unbox this. Whenever I watch unboxing videos and people unbox stuff, it's always like a pain in the ass to them. So, enjoy the shit. You know, of course I forget to get scissors whenever I unbox stuff, so I'm gonna be ghetto and use random stuff on the floor to open it. <laughs> Logan, do you have any scissors up there? No. Okay, let's just break the packaging. Good job, me. Over there. I'm not using a spoon, I refuse. Alright, so, cool packaging. There's a, there's a, um, a pocket knife over here. This is the cool, who needs ex instructions for a controller? I don't know. Who needs instructions? Alright, so, I'm trying to point the controller. There it is. Oh god, how much, they used a bunch of tape on this damn thing. That was easy. And now we have this controller thingy. Okay, so this, this is more easy. Come on, tape. Work with me now. Come on. Props to me for finding the camera. Dang. It took like forever. And then, of course, when I'm not looking for it, I find it. I forgot who found it. It wasn't me. It was, um, oh. Okay. It was, I think my mom, like, made it fall off or something. Stop breaking the And then I found it, and I was like, ooh, I can use that. Alright, so it's a wire. I don't know. had a wire PS3 for Holy crap, this feels cool. It has an Xbox joystick. I like those. And it's like the Xbox layout. Holy crap. That's cool. See how it looks like an Xbox controller, but it's PC. Yeah, it's PC. So. It, it'll take. It won't take as much getting used to. As the. PS3. Normal PS3 remote stage, right? Yeah. But it has the PS3 triggers. Which I like how they like curve and junk. And that's cool. So, let's compare it to a normal PS3 controller, which is going to look like that. Hmm. I don't like how you sprint on a PS3 controller, I don't know why. But, these are definitely going to be cool. And I will leave in the description how I actually like it. I'm going to make it glow for you guys. So, I'm going to wrap these. Come on out. Come on out. Why must they package it so complex? People like me just want to use it. Not sure how I'm going to like this controller. Not sure. Okay. Let's just plug it into the PS7 real quick. Ooh. All right, it's plugged in, and that looks cool. Where's the button? Oh, that's cool. So when you get this little LED right there. So let's go ahead and flip out the lights. All right, so you get that. Holy crap. Look. Look, 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 I'm gonna... <laughs> awesome. So, as you can see, really cool. I actually had a different Afterglow thing. The green one for Xbox, remember? Yeah, I had the green one. I'm not exactly sure how My it friend has a green one for PS3. Nice. So, I'm definitely gonna like this. This is cool. It is comfortable. It's cool. There you go. I'm gonna flip back on the lights here.
And it has the button on the back. So I already kind of like this controller because I have to play in the dark. So. All the buttons feel good. Oh, the grenade buttons actually look really cool. Small buttons, so they're easy to click. The D pad is pretty cool. Good feeling controller compared to the. Oops. To this one. It is wired, but that's what awesomeness. What did I click? What did I click? So there's a comparison. Same shape. Okay, as you can see. The, the buttons are rather big compared to these. These are like microscopic, so they're easy to pull. Alright, guys, like the video, otherwise, you'll get cookies smashed on your head. Peace.